What's up mga TV? Welcome back to Rudan TV. Now this time, we are going to learn about measure of dispersion or measure of variability. Quickly, measure of dispersion talks about the spread of data in a given data set. But this time, it's about group data set. But before that, I would like to invite you to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified soon for my upcoming videos. So what are we waiting for guys? Let's go! Let's have an actual example. Before we will have our actual example, the measure of variability this time that I am going to share to you is variance and standard deviation. Please take note that there are other measurements of variability. In fact, range is the quickest measure of variability. The problem with range is that it does not give a clear picture of the spread of data in a given data set. Okay? So, what, our, what we're going to do now is how to solve for variance and standard deviation. So, let's start now in our example. Here is our example. We have the column for class interval and then the column for class frequency. Uh, provided or given that this is our given data set and we will compute for the variance. These are the next four columns added here are the columns that we have to complete in order for us to solve for variance. Let's start with midpoint also known as the class mark denoted by the symbol X sub M in most of statistics book. Now, to get or to complete this column, this is simply the average of our limits. So, meaning to say you have 18 or, yeah, you have 18 plus 27 divided by 2, you have 22.25. That is the first one, 22.25. And then, uh, what I would like to show you here is let's try to complete the, the first row. The next thing that we'll do here, this notation fx sub m means to say we multiply our class mark and then the class frequency. So we have 22.5 as our class mark times 5, you have 112.5. 112.5. And then of course, the next uh, part, this one means or this is the square of your class mark this value so that means 22.5 square you'll have 506.25 okay 506.25 and then the last part here fx sub m squared is simply the product of your frequency and then the squared uh, midpoint or class mark so you have 500 6.25 times 5. You have 2,300 or 2,531.25. Okay? That is, uh, should be written here, 2,531.25. Then we will do for the next here. So the same thing, you have, okay, 28. 0.5 or rather 28 plus 37 divided by 2 you have 32.5 32.5 and then we multiply this one with or let's square first this one anyway it's just the same let's multiply with 6 to complete the next column that is times 6 what's 195 and then the third, the third uh, empty column here is simply the square of 32.5. 32.5 square, that is 1,000, okay, 1,056.25. And then the last column, it is 1,026.25 times, of course, our F, our frequency, 6, that is... 6,157 6,157.5 Okay, so that's how we uh, do this one Okay, so it's basically the whole process We will just do the same thing to complete the table So, 
that's how we actually complete the table. We fill out our frequency times class mark. We will also uh, fill out the column for uh, the square of the frequency and then uh, frequency times class mark and as well as frequency times the squared class mark. Okay, so we just have to complete all the table and by the way, we need to get, get rather the summation of uh, two specific columns such as fx sub m and fx sub m squared because that is what is needed to solve for our uh, variance. Okay, let's continue. This, this is already the finished product of uh, the filled out tables or columns of uh, in our table so you notice i have already uh, i have already the summation for column fx sub m and then the summation of column fx sub m squared why because they are needed in uh, solving our uh, variance and standard deviation now let me just uh, show you this are our formula okay the formula for uh, variance is of course this one you notice these are very familiar. These were actually the values here. That's why I decided to, or I have already, uh, I took the summation of the two columns because that's needed here. Other thing that is also needed is our sample size, which is, by the way, provided in the table, which is 50. But if in case it's not provided, you just need get, simply get the summation of the frequency, then you will have uh, the value of n. So let's substitute now. Oh, hold on. I forgot to introduce to you this side also. This is also the formula to get the standard deviation because uh, variability is actually measured in terms of standard deviation or the distance of uh, data is being measured in terms of standard deviation and to find the standard deviation, it's just simply the square root of our variance. So that's why to solve for standard deviation, we have to solve for variance first. No uh, standard deviation unless variance is already uh, solved. Okay, we will substitute this is fx sub m summation that is this value that's 128,362.5 minus okay, the summation that's 2435 square divided by 50 all over 50 minus 1 okay what i'm going to do first is uh let's do this part but let's copy first this other side 1128362.5 okay and then let's solve this part that's 2435 square since it's squared here then divided by 50 the denominator I have 118,584.5 and then we divide this one of course 50 minus 1 you have 49 okay just move let me just move this one first now you have subtract this one numerator 128,362.5 Minus 118,584.5 uh, equals that's 9,778 divided by 49. Okay, we divide this one by 49. Finally, guys, we have our answer 199. Okay, we will round up our answer to two decimal places. Normally, uh, or commonly, decimal or place value, decimal place value is commonly uh, round to the nearest hundred. So, we will also do the same thing. But that depends upon uh, whatever is required in our computation. So, you have 55. This is now our S squared or our variance. In other words, the variance of this the data set, the, the given, is 199.55 now let's move here on the other side let's solve both our standard deviation sd okay this is the square root of our variance now if uh, we go back here our 
uh, we go back here, our variance is 199.55. So we will just get its square root, 199.55. Okay, let's use our calculator. The square root of 199.55, you have 14 points. Of course, we will round this one to two decimal places as 14.13. 14 point or 13 rather, 14.13. That is our standard deviation. Okay, so that's the standard deviation of this given data set. So that's how quick we solve for standard deviation for uh, group data. There you go, guys. That's the complete steps and the whole process of solving variance and standard deviation what you just need here is that you should have your calculator of course it's needed and then make sure to complete uh, carefully the columns in your table and then properly substitute the value in the given formula you're always going to find the correct answer for variance and standard deviation so in our example 14.13 that means to say in a given data set each score is um one standard deviation away from the mean is equivalent to 14.13 for each score as it deviates away from or as it deviates from the mean okay so finally before we'll end this um particular lesson of ours let me just uh invite you to leave your comment comments in the comment section if you have some comment and if you have questions then i'm more welcome to answer also your questions as much as i can and then if you have some suggestions also then let me know i'm open for any suggestions and comments just leave it in my uh, in the comment section so with that guys thank you so much for watching and uh, being with me for this another episode of Tagmamagaling Samay. So bye for now guys. Take care and thank you so much for watching.